Smithson versus Dangerfield in this here boxing bout three two minute rounds for you ladies and gentlemen watching at home on Leapfrog Fight TV. Good head movement early on here from Smithson. Nice wide base and the stance of Smithson as well. Good compact boxing early on from him here. Threatening with the feint as well. Taking center ring as Smithson. So far showing the technical advantages for me as Smithson. Good threatening jabs there from Dangerfield as well. Good right hand lands flush on the chin there for Smithson. Smithson offloading with shots. Nothing malicious, probably 60-70% of his power going into these, but they're connecting, they're scoring shots. The judges will be taking notice of that. It's good boxing. Dangerfield skirting around on the outside uh, of the ring, tracing the ropes. No real reason, no technical advantage from doing that that I can see. He's not necessarily the taller or longer fighter. Um, but as I say that, he takes the centre ring, battles for it here with Smithson. Good shots again there from Smithson. End of the first round, probably uh, an easier first round for Smithson, uh, or pardon me, an easy call for the first round there for Smithson. Uh, who boxed more effectively of the two men for me there. Uh, better balance, better posture and stance and, um, you know, just chaining together his shots. Not scoring with anything that uh, is hurting Dangerfield, I don't believe, um, but all scoring shots uh, all the same. Um, the judges will, I should imagine, have him up at the end of that first round. Intelligent boxing for him there. One thing to note as well is he's not blowing his load early in the first round Smithson, those shots that he's throwing are, you know, probably 50, 60, maybe 70% of his total power um, just easing his way into this bout and, and doing what he needs to do boxing wise instead of fighting uh, to win that first round, which I, I would always encourage from a boxer Round two underway here, Smithson versus Dangerfield. Dangerfield needs to find an answer to the applied pressure of Smithson. Coming up short of his shots there, arm punches as opposed to sort of punches that are coming from the base, which is the difference between the two men here. A little bit more boxing pedigree on the side of Smithson, I would say. Again, the same story in this round. Not huge shots coming in from Smithson, but just great scoring shots. Good jab landing there for Dangerfield, though. A looping overhand right comes up short for Dangerfield, and Smithson goes back to work on his man as he's pressed up against the ropes. Dangerfield doing a good job uh, to trace Smithson back uh, and retake centre ring, but he's got his back on the ropes again here now. Needs to be more mindful of his positioning, I believe, Dangerfield. He's getting himself into trouble because he's tracing those ropes. Good right hands land flush there for Smithson as the referee calls a standing count for Dangerfield. Mouth guard, I believe, fell out for Dangerfield in that exchange as well.
Good exchange of jabs, both men landing there. Looping left hook for Dangerfield and a shot to the body. And another good shot to the body there for Dangerfield. He used to be more defensively minded with where his gloves are. He's, he's having them a little bit low in tight here. He could get caught with another hard shot if he's not careful, Dangerfield. Last 10 seconds of this second round. And there we are, another right hand lands flush and hurts Dangerfield. Smithson pumping up the volume of the shots towards the end of the second there. Hurt his man two or three times in that round. You get the feeling that if Smithson started to put some real venom behind these shots, he could take Dangerfield out. Dangerfield just not being defensively aware enough as he's backing up against those ropes. His hands low and he's getting caught with that right cross fairly consistently at this point. He needs to reinvent his game coming into this third round. The game plan of being against the ropes is just not paying dividends for, da for uh, Dangerfield at this point. Smithson coming out, throwing harder shots than he was in the first and the second. You get the idea that perhaps he smells blood in the water a little bit here um, from some of the uh, defensive laxness of Dangerfield. Dangerfield still giving it back strong, though, probing that jab out as he traces around the ring. Attempt of a big right hand comes up short for him there. An attempt on the uppercut for uh, Smithson, but it doesn't land for him there. Good exchanges here, even exchanges. Dangerfield coming back into it a little bit here in the third round, but he really needs to come up with something, uh, something aggressive, something that's going to stop this fight if he if he hopes to still walk away with a victory here. I have Smithson up two rounds, and he's walking away with the third one as well, unfortunately. Good feint there from Dangerfield, really selling the jab feint. Pushing into space for his man there, uh, taking away the distance, but then shoving his opponent. So, not, not too. Oh. Three hard shots, two right hands, and a left land flush for Smithson and Chris. <laughs> As the referee re engages them. Dangerfield needs to go for the next two. And that two uh, likely walking away with the victory. But a good account of himself given by Dangerfield there. Game plan just not paying off for Dangerfield as he faces uh, an aggressive but controlled and well balanced opponent in Smithson who had consistent boxing throughout. Crowd presence here, supporting him on that victory, a well-earned victory for him.
Must be some over in this side of the crowd. I think they enjoy it to perform. 